Hey there everybody, it's Mr. Brzezette. Today we're going to show you guys something funny and then we're going to take it apart piece by piece and see how I did it so that you guys can do it as well. So, let's get started. And for some tragic news, this video footage was recorded on site at Hardin High School. Tristan Reelbird, a Hardin High School student, was found tragically after five weeks of confinement within a locker. Witnesses describe the scene. Anything. It was just smoke bad. And then when someone finally opened up that locker and he came popping out, I was like, oh my god. I didn't even know. At first it was a, a small odor. We thought maybe we just caught a mouse in a mouse trap. And then it got pretty rank. Um, by about the third month, we started questioning, asking if they had been cleaning in the uh, hallways. Um, so we got some deodorizers and put out there. But uh, lo and behold, after about five months, um, somebody actually decided they were going to open up that locker. The students need to use their lockers more. They should use their lockers in a way um, other than a second home. <laughs> kick out of doing stuff like that. That's a hoot. Okay, so this is what that looked like. And it's intentionally unfinished. I haven't wrapped up the news article yet. But uh, this video is mainly to introduce you guys to the use of themes in your work. Now you can access different themes by starting a new project. And when you go to uh, add your title to your project, you'll see two windows over here. You'll see a project theme window and then below it a movie trailer window. And the way that works, it's the same way as uh, you'd think. You click on it and it gives you a sample of what it looks like with several different transitions. Uh, there's also a really cool one that I like to use for my cartooning class, it's, uh, the comic book one. Um, and then movie trailers, they come with music and everything. Pretty cool. What a theme does is it creates two things for you. It makes transitions and it also makes title cards. And you all know where you can find your titles. Uh, they're right down here. That's where you put words and such. But with a theme, if you've selected a theme for your project, you'll have four additional options that are not normally there. And uh, for example, I use the newscast for the beginning of my newscast. So all I did was just grab the newscast and drag it over here, let go, and then that little screen was there, uh, and I just entered in the text as needed. Now the transitions, you find them in the same spot, you know, like fade to black, ripple, page turn, you got another four right up here, you can preview them by mousing over the top of them. Uh, you just click and drag them in between the clips as needed. It's very self-explanatory, very fun. And let's look at some other things that I did. Let's go straight to the very beginning here. That sound effect I actually ripped off of the internet. You guys can do that as well, provided that it's not a copywritten uh, thing that somebody else owns. You can do that a num number of different ways. You can uh, download it from a free site, you know, all your sound effects. Another way to get sound effects is uh, download a video off the internet that has the sound that you want, import that into iMovie, all right, and then, uh, you know, select the part that has the sound, click drag it onto your timeline where you want it, and then just check audio only. And then it will um, import the new sound right down here. So that's another way how you can get sound effects. It's a hoot. Another thing uh, that I did here is I, I was mindful of my camera angle. I set uh, my position off to the left a little bit to make room for this picture in a picture effect. Um, picture in a picture, once again, you can achieve that by selecting a portion of video from your event window, dragging it down where you want it to be on your uh, timeline and then select picture in a picture and it shows up and since it is a theme then uh, anytime you use that effect it will use this newscast type effect in there you can control the size of it and so on if you want to get multiple pictures within a picture uh, you cannot do that strictly um, using this method for example if I want to grab another piece a video, pull it down into the exact same clip in the same spot, it will replace the old picture. What you have to do if you want more than one uh, picture is you have to finish the whole video, export it, import it again, and then do picture in a picture again with it. 
Um, and you have to do that for every time you want an additional picture. And so you can get an unlimited amount of pictures in a picture in your frame, but you know, it's just extra work. All right, another thing that I used for this effect where it's slowly zooming out from this picture is uh, to get the picture, I used uh, what's called a freeze frame. If you have, uh, like, let's go over here. Here is where our student's getting in the locker. If I wanted to nab this little clip right here for a freeze frame, I would right click or control click if you don't have a mouse with a right button. And then you go to add freeze frame. Bam! And there is the freeze frame. You can control how long the freeze frame plays. Um, and then you can also grab it and move it around throughout your timeline. To get this zoom in, zoom out effect that I used, I used the crop tool. So I'll just go over here, select my picture, hit the crop, and I'm going to go to Ken Burns. Who is Ken Burns? No idea. There's an effect named after him. And... Uh, I mean, they could have named it Flemish Schnard Fark for all I care. <laughs> so, so what you do, you got two boxes. Um, you click and drag from the top, and this green one represents where it's going to start. And so I'm going to start zoomed in right up here. All right, the red box represents where the zooming in and out will end. And let's end right about here. The uh, arrow shows what direction the zooming is going to happen. So I'll hit done, and let's play it. Um, the length of the video clip will determine the speed of the zoom out or zoom effect with the Ken Burns. And the other effect that I did here, obviously transitioning between two different videos while using one audio track. Uh, that was all audio from this clip right here. I simply extracted it and I took another piece of audio, pulled it into the clip, went to insert, and I just got rid of all the leftovers of, uh, of this young lady here talking. But most importantly, I made sure that the length of the clip that I grabbed from the event window uh, was at least as long as the audio that I needed. And that is that with themes. Hope you found this helpful, everybody, and I'll see you in class. Bye.